I'm Danielle from CaptivatingCostumes.com. In this episode, I'm going to be doing the rotating heat sink. And discussing this cool competition to win this bad boy. Stay tuned. If you'd like to stay up to date with future projects, please don't forget to subscribe to me by clicking the link down here. Also, if you enjoy the particular video you're watching, please, please, please give it a like. I like this. Give me a comment as well. I'd like to interact with you all and have a little bit of a chat more. To stay up to date with my YouTube videos and other projects, please head over to Facebook and like my page, Captivating Costumes. And of course, don't forget, for every like, comment and share, I spare a unicorn's life. Just keep that in mind when you make your decisions. For those of you that don't keep up with my channel, I'm currently building the SRT1 Barracuda Iron Girl armor, which you can see here. I intend on putting servos, lights, electronics and loads of cool stuff in this armor. But... This leads me on to my next discussion. The problem with this helmet is it's far too masculine, so I'm going to be printing a version 2. That means one of you lucky people gets to win it. All I want you to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, share this video, and then leave a comment down below saying done. I will then select one of you at random at the end of February to win this, which will be posted to you free of charge. Barracuda approves. So without further ado, let's get back to building the Ghostbusters Proton Pack. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. Did you want to? Sorry. sorry. I'll let you. I'll let you. Next time. For those of you that aren't familiar with my Proton Pack build, I'm currently doing a very high-tech take on the Proton Pack from the new reboot Ghostbusters movie. I'm including a, sh a screen on it, which will have lots of cool animations. The circling lights in the synchrotron, which will be controlled by various different knobs to change the colour. Everything is controlled by one Arduino Due, a Pro Mini, a soundboard, a huge speaker which can be found behind that section, and another Arduino Pro Mini in here. The barrel of the thrower extends and retracts via a motor, and inside is a plasma tube which you can see in this video here. I also have a 20 watt amplifier inside and various different batteries. Most of the parts have been 3D printed and attached to plastic. So now that you're all up to date, let's show you where I am at the moment. Over here on the heatsink, I have just been attaching the servo horn onto the bottom of it. So if I just take the servo now, I can clip that into there and screw it on at a later date. There we go. And now you can see how that moves. And this is now how it looks when it is turning. I am using a spare Arduino that I've got lying around and I've bodged the wires up to the servo just to see how it looks. So there we go. It's just basically doing a straight back and forward routine uh, and obviously if you imagine that attached onto the proton pack, it's going to look cool. I've designed this servo bracket on 123D circuits and I went through a lot of different design choices and this is the one that I ended up sticking with. So the servo will fit into this gap here, the cable for the servo will just come out of the bottom. bottom. <laughs> and then go through this hole down here and then lead back to the Arduino Pro Mini or Due. So that's currently printing and we'll see how that looks. I decided to do some painting. Um, I went over the lines though. I suck at painting. Cat's really angry with me, but I'm just gonna go over those crappy bits with Sharpie pen. Please don't tell her. I'm right here. Prick. There we go. Fixed it. And Cat will never need to know. Dude, still here. Dickhead. The servo bracket is at 
So pretty much halfway done. And then we can start doing some test fitting. The bracket's nearly finished. And here's the bracket, all finished, nicely printed. Um, the servo hole is slightly further up than it needs to be because the servo is offset. I've got a little hole there to put the servo cable through and it can come out through the bottom. So let's try it on the proton. Thanks to the wonders of Bluetack, I am able to give it a test fit. Let's try it with the servo. And here it is with the heat sink attached as well. Uh, I just have it hooked up to my spare Arduino Uno and everything is just attached with blue tack and you can see how cool that looks if I come around this way as well that gives you a good idea of how it's going to look and when you press the start up button on the proton pack or apply the main power this will just turn round to the uh, clockwise once and then back again rather than continuously looping like this so let's get everything attached the original gauges that I printed were actually too big so I decided to print them again. This is the first one and it is currently at 65% so that will be finished soon. The gauge is now finished printing and I have just dropped it into the location where it will be staying. I printed it in three parts, the needle, the main outer ring and the back that the sticker sticks on and then I just printed out the digits. So. I'll just leave that there and it's starting to look good. So let's try a quick demonstration of the heatsink which I have now installed. So when we first start it up it will turn and then the screen will do the normal starting up uh, animation and calibration. Then once that's finished, the heat sink will turn back again. And now for something completely different. And now for a quick update on the Barracuda. If you look on the screen, you can see two slightly different versions of this Barracuda helmet. The one on the right is the original Barracuda helmet, which I've already printed. And the one on the left is the version two. Now myself and Addison, who is the person that designed the Barracuda helmet, have been having a chat and we came to the conclusion that the one on the right, which is the one I've already printed, is far too masculine. As you can see it's got quite a square jaw compared to the one on the left. The face is wider along the cheekbones and there's a few other differences as well. So that's the reason that I wanted to give my print away as a prize. As mentioned before, the details on how to win it are in the description of this video on YouTube. So now that we have that in mind, let's take a quick look at the new Barracuda helmet. The differences are quite subtle, as you've seen it's slightly longer in the face, the chin is much thinner, the angle of the jawbone is much more curvy across this area when compared to the original which has quite a square jaw. In the chin there is also a, a little bit of a feature here which wasn't in the original one. But despite all these really cool new features, there's still a little bit of work which needs to be done on the new Barracuda helmet. So I'm unable to start printing it yet. Minor little details, such as the little hole here, this just needs bringing forward and meeting up with it. And where the jaw attaches to the back is slightly different shape so it doesn't line up properly. I also need the back piece cutting off here so that I'm able to get it on and off my head once it's printed. But I'm just waiting for Addison to do these little updates and then I can get back to printing it and continue with the Barracuda build. So I hope you can all just bear with me and enjoy my Proton Pack videos in the meantime. So I'm afraid that's all I have time for for this week's episode. Don't forget to like my Facebook page, subscribe to me here on YouTube, share this video and leave a comment down below in order to enter yourself into the Barracuda Helmet giveaway competition. Like I said, I will post it anywhere in the world for absolutely free. The winner will be drawn at random and the full rules are in the description of this video on YouTube. So, as always, thank you for watching. See you soon. Love you all.
like to stay up to date with future projects, please don't forget to subscribe to me by clicking the link down here. Also, if you enjoy the particular video you're watching, please, please, please give it a like. I like this. Give me a comment as well. I'd like to interact with you all and have a little bit of a chat more. To stay up to date with my YouTube videos and other projects, please head over to Facebook and like my page, Captivating Costumes. And of course, don't forget, for every like, comment and share, I spare a unicorn's life. Just keep that in mind when you make your decisions. Oh, oh.